Well, I'm we're gonna work on some exercises for beginners. The most important thing in the yoga practice is connecting the breath with the movement. So just a short and a quick instruction on how to start to get used to doing that. So let's all begin coming in a seated position, whatever is more comfortable for you. You can just cross your legs and you can maybe place a blanket under if that, that is more comfortable for you. All right, so close your eyes. You can bring your hands to your knees. Make sure your spine is straight it's in the chest. Imagine somebody's pulling it on the top of the head, keeping your spine straight, nice and long. Close your eyes softly and take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale everything through the mouth. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. And let's begin breathing only through the nose. Open your eyes if you wish. And begin breathing only through the nose, slightly engaging the back of your throat. It's like you want to fog a mirror. And some people call it the Darth Vader of breath. So it's so it's like you want to say ha with your mouth closed. And you're just making sound with the breath. So let's try that one more time. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. So keeping with that breath, we're going to start moving. So inhale, raise your arms up towards the ceiling, palms together, and as you exhale, twist to the right, bringing your left hand to your right knee, looking over your shoulder. Inhale, back to back up. Exhale, twist to the left this time. We're going to do this three more times. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale and twist. Inhale to the left, to up. And exhale to the left. And come back to center. So now we're going to move into our hands and knees into a table pose. So make sure your hands are right under the shoulders, your knees are under the hip, and feet are right behind the knees. So make sure you're planting the whole hand on the floor, you're grabbing the floor with your, your fingers. So push your fingertips down, press down with your thumb and your index finger. So we're going to do some cat and cow, lifting as you inhale, lift, dropping the belly, lifting the elbow up, lifting the chest and your shoulders back and look up. As you exhale, push the floor away, suck your belly in, round the back, tuck your tailbone in and look down towards your navel. Again, inhale up. Really arch the back as you inhale. Exhale, down, chin to chest, round, push, 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 push. Inhale up, exhale down, again inhale up, and exhale down, push the floor away with the hands really round the back as much as possible, push through the shoulders, now come back to a neutral spine. I'm going to start adding more movement and eventually moving up to stand. So inhale, reach your right arm forward and extend your left leg back. Exhale, tuck it in, bring your elbow to knee. Inhale forward. Exhale, elbow to knee. We're going to do this five times. One, inhale, reach. 
two, round the back, so keep your belly in and keep your breath. Three, four, and five. Come back down, let's do the other side. Inhale, reach your left hand forward, out of the leg. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, in, exhale, extend. Inhale, in, three, exhale, and extend. Four, exhale, and last one, inhale, exhale. Bring your, bring your hand and your knee down. And now let's press down, keep down towards the heels, reach your hands forward. And just let your forehead drop towards the floor for child's boat. Take a breath. And now come back into your hands and knees. Let's curl your toes under and lift your hips up into your downward dog. So Try to push your chest towards the legs. You can always keep your knees bent, keeping your spine as straight as possible, pushing through the base of the fingers, pressing down with your thumb and your index finger. Remember that cat position cannot broaden in the shoulders. So if your, your hamstrings are tight, you can keep your knees bent. And eventually work on pushing your heels down towards the ceiling. So you're looking at your feet, your knees or your navel if possible and this is your downward dog position. Look forward between your hands and slowly step your feet between your hands. Exhale. Hold on the forward pole, same thing. You can always bend the knees trying to Touch the belly to the thighs, and this can be your forward fold, letting your head and your neck relax. And eventually, work on extending the legs. Sucking the belly in always makes more space, more room to connect and to fold forward. All right, so let's separate the feet, keep breathing apart, and just grab opposite elbows and hand here for a moment. Stay with your breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Keep with your breathing with sound. Still engage in the back of the throat. Slowly release your hands to the sides and very slowly squeezing between the legs, engaging the pelvic floor. Begin to come up. And relax. So bring your feet together. This is a Sama City position. Bring the toes touching, feet parallel and arms by the sides. So your belly in and lift the chest. So we're going to start with the sun salutation A, again connecting the breath and the movement. So make sure you're, you're finding your center. So let's bring the weight forward into the toe and then back to the heels to really know where the center of your body is. So again, lift the chest, roll your shoulders up, back and down, arms by the sides. As you inhale, you're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling, bring your palms together, reach through the elbows to really extend the arms and look at the thumbs. As you exhale, you're going to go down, reaching forward with your hands, leaving with the chest. Try to keep your hips on top of the ankles, and again, remember, there's always possible to keep your knees bent if you need to, keep your spine straight. That is the most important thing. We don't want any rounding of the back. We don't want an extension. So keep your knees bent as much as you need to and eventually you'll get to extended legs. So hold, inhale, look up. You can bring your hands to your shins if you need to, to keep your back straight. Lift in the chest. And now bend your knees if you need to, to bring your hands to the side of your feet and step back. Again, you can always bring your knees down, rest your feet, 
to come down into Chaturanga and Lassana. Inhale for all four facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So five breaths here. You can try to stay here. Remember always, again, bending the knees if you need to. Or if this is too much, you can try one or two breaths here and then bring your knees down and come down into child pose. So whatever is your body telling you, but always try. Don't try to go to the easier version right away. So we need to work towards what we want to accomplish. So um, maybe today is two breaths and tomorrow is three and eventually if you get to do the full five breaths on the downward position. Okay, so five breaths here, look forward between the hands and however you can, you make your way to bring your feet between your head. So it's either walking, which is fine, or you can maybe bend the knees and slowly jump, or you can even squat and jump. So slowly progressing into jumping or floating forward. Exhale and fold. Inhale all the way up, reaching up, arms together to look up. Exhale and samastiti hi. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. Here I can inhale, arms up. Do I exhale, fold. Trying to connect the breath with the movement. Trini, inhale, look up and extend the spine. Chatwari, step back. Lower down slowly, keep your elbows close to your body, either bringing the knees down or not. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Remember that your version of the posture, bending the knees or coming all the way down. Two. Three, four, and five. Inhale forward, bend your knees and jump or step forward. Exhale and fall. Inhale, pushing down through the feet, come all the way up, reaching up, arms together. So let's keep going and working on doing it with the flow of the breath, okay? So we're going to try to stop less and just follow the instruction. Here I can inhale, arms up. Do I exhale, fall forward, suck your belly in. Trini, inhale, look up and extend the spine. Chaturi, step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale. Shak, exhale. So five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, look up, forward, and jump. Ashto, exhale, fall. Now I inhale, come up, reaching up, palms together. Samastitihi. So I'm going to do the last one with no instruction, just breath.
and that is Surya Namaskar A. So very important is to connect breath with movement. That is the basics of this practice. Um, the breath is the most important part of it. So as long as you're controlling the breath, and your breath is soft, smooth, everything is fine and the postures will start coming one by one, slowly, as you surrender into your breath. You let your body know everything is okay, and that it can relax into the posture. So I hope this helped. I'm going to start doing a little bit of this, just a little warm up and then we can move on to some postures or little exercises. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me.